Good morning. This is Robert Carsapestein bringing you this morning's market update. The US market had a drawdown yesterday. The Wall Street dropped 159 points, close on 17,962. The US 500 rolling fell 17 points to close on 2087 spot 18. And the US Tech 100 declined 49 points to close on 4,493 spot 08. The poor display came from a mixed bag of quarterly reports. Some of the largest tech and telecoms lost out yesterday, with Verizon dropping 3.32%. Alphabet posted first quarter results a little below expectations, declining 5.5%, while Microsoft also moved down, losing 3.5%. Commodities saw gold rise $4 to close on $1,249.30. Meanwhile, Brent crude dropped value, closing at $44.74 a barrel after dropping $0.86 cents from the open. In Europe, the Germany 30 dropped points, shedding 61 points to close on 10,373 spot 3. And the UK 100 also dropped 51 points to close on 6,365 spot 5. Anglo-American and Sky were the biggest fallers affecting the UK 100 with the latter dropping 4.2% over doubts that the company will not get the rights to air the Bundesliga's matches in Germany. Obama has recently also given his view on the current Brexit situation, stating the European Union doesn't moderate British influence, it magnifies it. Telegraph newspaper shortly after... Oh, sorry. The president arrived in London late on Thursday, stating a strong Europe is not a threat to Britain's global leadership, it enhances Britain's global leadership. While the support is meant to aid David Cameron and try to sway those to vote for the UK to stay in the EU, Leave Europe has taken a different approach, turning the words against the President. For the United States to tell us in the UK that we must surrender control of, a, of so much of our democracy, it is a breathtaking example of the principle of do as I say, but not as I do. In today's corporate news, Uber has settled a case brought by U.S. drivers for $100 million. Mitsubishi shares have dropped a further 10% after admitting falsifying fuel economy data on Wednesday. And Volvo Group beat expectations for the first quarter, positioning net income of 3.77 billion Swedish crowns. Today's economic data in focus at 9 a.m. in Europe, market data was released for manufacturing PMI, services PMI and the PMI composite for April, while at 2.45 in the US market manufacturing PMI for April is released. That's all for this morning's market update. Thank you and goodbye.